they are very relevant. Because what the devil did is he kept people in a dream state because that's where they felt most comfortable in. Because they couldn't accept reality for what it is. Truth is a hard pill to swallow and the majority of people can't swallow it at all. Don't forget your bandana. There, kickstand. <laughs> I, I can tell it's, you know, I find it, if I fight, if I, had a, if I had a bigger place or I had more property, I probably um, would, I would have an animal, but I think it's good to have, if you can't find comfort in, in your fellow man, sometimes I feel animals are smarter than humans, so they comfort you too. And that's why they're here. They're not only, they're not here just to, you know, be walked and stuff. They're, they're here to, to comfort us. We used to have a really good connection with animals because um, animals would help us uh, with our, you know, food and, and, and everyday life. But the machine took it over. The machine have, have enslaved the animals. And now slowly the machines are enslaving us. Because think about it. The majority of people, if they, if power was turned off, 70% of people would die in the first 30 days. shirts and stuff. Well, Logos is a Greek word. It means gods. So lo people worship these logos. They worship advertisement and they are created from my opinion are, is created from the fallen and so if they get you to worship them um, through other means through your ignorance to your naive thinking your ego. I'm building a chicken coop right now. I'll show everybody after it's done. I'm making it out of all recyclable stuff that I've collected. There's some pieces I probably will buy um, at the Habitat of Humanity store, but other than that, um, it's going to be, I think it'll be about maybe, maybe, maybe $200 in material. Yeah, I've been researching a lot about chickens, man. They're weird, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, they got a pecking order and the reason why they're hens is because they all work together to sit on eggs. Their ears are behind here, and usually the color of their ear is what color their eggs are. chickens when they when they scavenge for food because they got these big big you know feet and they <laughs> they just go to town man it's, it's funny fun to watch down, they know when to go to bed, and you have to lock them up, and, you know, um, I, they like perches, and the perches, they like round perches, and it's usually about 
three inches, no more than three inches for them to perch because they're, they don't perch with their legs. They perch on their, um, basically their sternum. And they, that's how they perch. So the three inches gives them a good uh, base for that. And I'm talking about not completely round, but like kind of like an oval, you know, so it it's comfortable for them. Trust me, I've done some research. It's going to be a cool chicken coop. <laughs> shells after the eggs you can crumble you what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bake them and then for like you know 15 minutes and or, or not even that long and then you crush them and you mix that in with the oyster shell and that will give them enough a lot of calcium so their eggs are harder um but you have to break the eggs up because if you don't they they'll start eating their own eggs Yeah, I got, I, I'm rigging up a, a temperature sensor heater, so when the temperature drops, the heater will come on. Um, I've got some cool ideas about um, just how, how, the, how to collect the water and all that, and, and, and how, to, how to feed them correctly. lady um, it was like a, uh, a jungle and I turned it into a garden um, over the summer um, did a bunch of electrical uh, rebuilt the shed and made a f you know four by eight and I probably took about five trailer full of material off that property um, oh yeah yeah, we already did that. She's already started her worm colony, so yeah. But uh, I'll show people pictures of that, too, because that's where the chicken coop's going to go. And you'll understand exactly. And then all these the neighbors and, oh, would you like to come over to my house? I got to go spread stuff tomorrow. Um, uh, bar dust all over for this lady. It's a friend of hers, and she's old, and... Yeah. <laughs> I just, and then I take care of, like, I take care of, like, three ladies' yards now, and then, and then more are coming. It's like, no, I do not do this for a living. I I do other things, and yard work is just, uh, for, for me, something to do. Um, I enjoy working with my hands and, 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 and being busy. If I'm not busy, then I'm sitting here on YouTube all day and looking at things and then, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to become that. I don't want to, you know, that was part of waking up, you know, I already went through all that part. lady's house yesterday and she bought it uh, her and her husband bought it like probably like 15 years ago on a foreclosure there's a bunch of problems like plumbing electrical roof framing I made a punch list for her the other day um to help her out <laughs> I 
collected fourteen thousand dollars for. <laughs> Actually, I collected the fourteen thousand dollars for the job that I did, and then told her that, <laughs> and then gave her a list. <laughs> nice lady, girly girl. She broke her foot in Maui, and uh, <laughs> she was wearing a high heel with a boot. <laughs> Just walking around, going to work. <laughs> so funny. Not even with a broken foot, she couldn't give up that high heel. She sent me a text. You, you want me to read it? Oh, she, whatever. She emailed the, the place I work. Whatever. No, she emailed me and then text. I, I'll read it to you. It's funny. It says, Hi there. It's Adrian from The Nodding Job. I forgot to thank you for moving the holiday decor in the rafters and putting it back so neatly. Also, thanks for for installing the vent and new register. They look great. I appreciate the checklist, and I will get to work on it. Thanks for going above and beyond. I appreciate your excellent customer service. Take care. I said thank you for choosing us. I understand it's not cheap. Thank you for the kind words. I hope your foot heals fast. Have a great night. That was like the second. That's like the second one this week. Like uh, the customer and my, my the owners of the company. They're they <laughs> they just like oh gosh, you know. It's funny. We, we, we had a talk a couple weeks ago about things, and, uh, yeah, it's just been back and forth, it's pretty funny. I, I, I basically state, you know, you could say thank you, and, and, and uh, um, compliments are good, you know, and, you know, but, you know, I'm not here to, um, we're all here, we all slave away for one thing, for money, and, you know, what's fair is fair, you know, and, yeah, <laughs> what I'm asking is a little bit much, but it doesn't matter, I'm worth every penny of it, so, just don't ever cut yourself short. And the thing is, is I'm not going to be like, oh, if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to go somewhere else or whatever. I, I'd rather just start my own business again. But I wouldn't do that. And I'm not like vindictive at, at, at personality at all. So I would just be like, you know, you know I'm just not going to work as hard. You know, and I'm not going to do um, three jobs and only get paid to do one. micromanaging four other workers and then running jobs and laying jobs out and doing jobs and you know it gets old man that's so why they're like hey uh we go lay this job out today and uh or do a walk through it and uh have the day off well, I couldn't do the walkthrough till noon, and the job was like 30 miles that way. So, <laughs> I got off at like 3 o'clock, you know, it's like, but I went to the shop at 9. So basically, I, I did work a whole day, I just was just in bits and pieces. So it's not like you gave me the day off. At least my hour of my time card is not going to show that. You know, if I'm there for six hours, I'm there for ten, you know.
Dirty questions. We're just hanging out. It's kind of cool. Um, no trolls, and I'm happy about that. See, that's what I like when I, I just like do my own thing. And I um, do things spontaneously. They don't come in. <laughs> Yard work. Uh, that and... Um, I don't know, I'm going to get ready for winter, you know, I got to go, I'm going to do some, I don't know, I got to do some, get ready for winter, I got to do stuff around here, prepare it, and uh, um, I want to sell my car, I'm going to get that thing ready, I'm, 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 I'm on it out of here, I don't want it the Honda anymore, it's, I'm done with it, I got to get rid of it. You know, they're hacks. Yeah. I mean, I think the rain hasn't hit here yet. It rained last night pretty good, but um, the rain is definitely moving in. And I think by Monday it's going to be, you know, just rain for six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm there with you, Kickstand. And when I need to laugh at somebody, I just, I go to Richie from Boston. When he does the road trip videos, it's priceless. Now, that is a gift that keeps on giving. As far as uh, Black Betty, I mean, she's just a train wreck, man. You know, pretty soon, not, not to say I wish it on the person, but, you know, you reap what you sow. Um, it's going to be here soon that you're going to have your, your first YouTube death, you know. They're just going to die. During a live stream, they'll just collapse. You know, their hearts will fail them. She, I think she has multi personality disorder. I think that um, she's borderline schizophrenic. Um, She's just done so many drugs and, and she's been living such a crazy life that that's the only way she knows how to live it is drama and, and madness. Um, and then she, of course, she's been taken advantage of multiple times. Um, but the choices that you make, the thing is, is that you never, you always blame everyone else for your problems, but you never take the initiative to see what got you there in the first place, you know. Uh, people need to accept responsibility for their actions. And I understand that we're living in a society that, that frowns on that, where it's okay, tomorrow is a different day. Bullshit. You know, what is the saying, you know, that you can, it takes a lifetime to, to build someone's trust and it takes a, 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 a second to lose it, you know? I mean, I went after R RFB. I'm, I'm probably the only one. I think I'm the only person that he mentioned. Uh, he, he called me Bartholomew Garbage, but, you know, I have a channel called that, but it was pretty close. I really got to him. But by his own words, by, by, by you. I only used his own words on him. His own words. You know, condemn you. Condemn you. So, well, that's the thing, you know, a lot of people think me when I, when I kept going after the uh, scariest movie ever, KJ Osborne, Scumbag, and a lot of people just didn't want to believe that he's a total con artist and scammer and you know it took a while but then they saw it as far as uh her i mean if they really think that that person's coherent um sober-minded 
Well, you don't need those people around you. They're stupid. Thank you. 